very slowly and in a delicate pattern. I can't drag them off to the side while they're still attached to his head, you know? I gotta take it all the way off, or else he's gonna kill me. Okay, move that shit over to the side. Gently. Nope. I'm sorry, what? All right, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome back to the Return to Freddy's 2 Winter Wonderland. In this video, we're gonna knock out night three and night four and without wasting any more time, let's get started. So we're gonna hit continue, go right into night three. Here we go. Don't forget to wind up the music box, noted. And I also can't forget about Doug. I gotta find him in whatever camera he's on and press the little blue button on top. Nothing too bad. Okay. Hey, you made it to night three, congrats. I don't have much to talk about tonight, so this call will be quick. Oh, by the way, good job on fixing that generator. It seemed to work great for a bit this morning, but it just randomly stuttered and started acting up again. At this point, don't worry about it. We'll just order a new one. Uh, recently we got Foxy the Pirate up and running. If he has the same issues as the others, he'll be out wandering around the building soon enough. We've discovered that, much like sugar, Foxy's mechanisms are very vulnerable to bright lights, so... If you see him near you, uh, just try shining your spotlight on him. Hopefully that'll make him run off. Uh, here's a little story. It seems like the company accidentally sent us an older animatronic today. <laughs> it's a spring lock animatronic. This one has to be an older model. I've never seen one in my life. According to the others, his name is Frank Bird. He's not in working condition at the moment, so he's not going to be moving around anytime soon. Lucky you, huh? We're just going to keep him in the back room until we decide what to do with him. Anyway, uh, I have to keep going. Just keep up what you've been doing, and you should be golden. Alright, good night. Okay, so, Foxy's out. Just got to shine my light on him. Also got to remember to wind up the music box, and remember to stay on top of Doug whenever he moves. So Bonnie is in the hallway right now. I'm shining the light on him, and nothing's happening. I forgot how to deal with him, but I don't think shining the light on him when he's in the hallway is going to do anything. I think he actually has to be up in the office, and you got to use the mask. That's probably how he works. The fuck? Oh, Foxy. I thought that was Doug for a second, and that was probably Foxy showing up. Okay. So far, so good. We're doing good. I don't know what the... F <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck is going on with Bonnie. He's just sitting in the hallway chilling. Flashlight is not doing a damn thing about him. Huh? Oh, the generator. The generator is about to go out. And this is how we deal with Bonnie here, the mask. Oh, that sound is foxy. All right, the generator's out. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Not yet. Doug is still there chilling. Let me wind up the music box as much as humanly possible. Yeah, the generator is about to go out. Reboot the generator. Yep. Get that shit back up. Uh oh. Okay. Let me make sure both of my sides are clear. We're good. Doug is still over there chilling. He hasn't moved yet all night. I hope he doesn't move at all tonight. He moved. Never mind. Okay, there he is. I love how I just said, I hope he doesn't move at all tonight. And he moves immediately after. Like, that was perfectly on cue. Bro heard me. Those big ass ears of his aren't for show. He can hear pretty well with those. Man, I really appreciate all the sound cues in this game. They make life in this game so easy. Big props to the developers for that. That is so helpful. Y'all have no idea. All right, it's 5 a.m. There goes Foxy. He's in the middle of the hallway this time. And he dipped out. I can't shine my light. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh, Doug. There he is. We got him. We got him. We're good. Doug dipped out again. Oh, no. Okay, there he is. Okay. New fear unlocked, people. That fear is Doug dipping out while the generator is down and it's recharging. That's gonna be so scary if it ever happens. I hope it never happens. But, you know, you can't wish for anything in a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. Keep it going, yeah. Phone guy said that they brought in a new old animatronic, a spring locked one. Frank Burt, aka Lockjaw. Objective, find the key. 
Gotta find the key, huh? All right, let's find that key then. Pass the generator. Is this the, the restaurant, the location? The same one that we've been playing in this entire game? It looks like it. Am I alone in here? Or are there animatronics wandering around that I gotta avoid? Cause the music is making it seem like that's what's going on. <sighs> that's because there is. That's Chica right over there. You see the, oh shit. Oh, is she chasing me? She's chasing me. Oh no. Let's get out of her sight. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> All right. She's still on my ass. She doesn't seem to be that fast though. I can outrun her. We're good. I can just outrun them. Unless of course it's Foxy that I run into. I wonder how fast Foxy is. That's a dead end. That's the exit. Fuck. We just barely managed to juke Bonnie. Where the fuck is this key at that I'm even looking for? Okay, there goes Freddy. All right. Oh, his AI is smarter than it looks. Oh no, Foxy. He's probably lightning fast. Let me make sure I don't get spotted by him at all. There we go. Go down here. This is probably where the key is at. This is the office. This is where I started. There's no way the key is over here. Oh my God, Foxy's going down there. I'm trying to go down there too. Ayo? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, 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 no. Wait for Foxy to walk past. Oh yeah, Foxy is lightning fast. He's coming this way. Why is he coming this way? Foxy, what are you doing, bro? Go that way, please. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, he got me. Damn. We got Kitty Fast Cat over there. There's the key. Escape. All right, good. Escape. I know where the exit is. I think I know where the exit is. It's up here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. This has to be the exit. Yes, we did it. I didn't have to cheat after all. Good shit. The animatronics don't like bright lights. Yeah, we already established that. All right, we're back over here again in this mini game. Christmas is closing in. It's right around the corner. The music has gotten just a little bit more ominous. The screen is all desaturated and shit, but that's probably just the extreme cold because Christmas is right around the corner. It's in the middle of winter, probably a huge ass blizzard that just hit us. I don't know what state this game takes place in, but it's definitely not my home state, North Carolina. We barely get shit over here, bro. It could be saying that we're gonna get snow for weeks in the forecast. And then we get like one or two inches of snow that's melting the same day that it landed. We don't get nothing here. I think go up there, right? Yep, there we go. Keep an eye on Doug, he likes to get around, I know. Hey, Matt Four. You've been doing a great job so far. I don't have much to say tonight, so I'm really just here to give you company. <laughs> I know being in those walls the entire night can probably get to your head. Don't worry, it'll be over soon enough. Oddly enough, though, no one has come to get Frankfurt yet. So, uh, how about after your shift, you go take a look at them yourself? I love some old tapes that should explain how to get them. These Springmont characters have been out of commission for quite some time now, and I doubt he was sent here on purpose. Uh, we actually have the original Fredbury and Bonnie in the back room as well. We're holding on to those two as management tries to figure out where to store them. These things are dangerous, and having them here is a risk. Some of the employees get shivers just looking at them. <laughs> Anyways, the animatronics have been starting to show some strange behaviors during the day now. Sometimes they'll just stand there in the rooms, especially in the puppets, they just stand near the box as if they're waiting for it to tell them something. It's starting to become an issue, kind of makes me worried for you over there right now. Uh, there's really nothing to worry about though, you should be fine, especially since you made it this far. I should get going. Uh, good night. Okay, I was expecting Doug to have dipped out, but he's still there. So they got all oh shit, okay. Did I just see him? I thought I just saw him. Oh shit. God damn it, no. I gotta find Doug. There he is, there he is. No, 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 no. Come on, go back. No, no, no. Why wasn't he going back? I was clicking the thing, what the fuck? 
Hi, how are you? What the hell was that? That was Golden Freddy, that's what that was. I think I was supposed to pull the camera up and not use the mask. I just used the mask on instinct, because, you know, it's Golden Freddy. And either the mask or, you know, pulling up the camera gets rid of him. But nope. Nah, -uh, not in this game, apparently. Ah, shit. The generator's about to go. Doug is still there. I hope... Okay, re... I gotta reboot the generator quickly. Damn, Freddy. I can't... It only gives you a small window to reboot the generator, and if you miss that window, you're fucked. Alright, cool. Ooh. I would've been able to reboot that generator if Freddy didn't pull the camera down. That was an RNG-related death right there. Oh, come on! I gotta find Doug, bro! I can't find him. I'm fucked. Doug's gonna get me. Yeah, I don't know where this man is at. There we go. He's in my office killing me now. That's where he is. What the fuck? Golden Freddy's head in the hallway. Damn. Okay. Is he gonna kill me? I think he would've already. I think I'm good. Can Golden Freddy even kill you in this game? I don't know. Damn, only 2 a.m.? How the fuck is it only 2 a.m.? It feels like so much time has passed. You're still in the hallway. If you're gonna come in here and get me, then... You know, come on in and get me, bro. I got all night. Look, everybody and their mama is coming to get me except you, Kitty Fast Cat. What's up with that, huh? Even Foxy's pulling up now. Where is he at? There he is. Alright. Shit. Doug. I gotta find. I gotta find Doug first. Okay, don't panic. Doug seems to give you just a little bit of time. There he is. We got him. Crisis averted, people. All right, we did it. it. Took a few attempts, but we did it. Hello, and welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Springlock Suit Repair Guide. This recording will detail how to bring one of our state-of-the-art Springlock suits, in this case, Frank Burt, back to working order. First, press the button on his left cheek to initiate repair mode. Now, remove Frank Burt's hat shortly after by the hair. Make sure you are very careful with the delicate parts by taking them off slowly and in a neat path. Yeah, I was just about to... I was just about to end the video, but then I forgot we still gotta meet Frank Burt, aka Lockjaw. Okay, lift the parts now, of his head and Frank drag Burt's them to the side of the screen. After by the hair. Make nope! Sure it said drag them to the side of the screen. That's what I was doing. Maybe I was supposed to lift the hat off first and then drag it to the side of the screen. Okay. I gotta lift it up higher probably. Very slowly and in a delicate pattern. I can't drag them off to the side while they're still attached to his head, you know? I gotta take it all the way off or else he's gonna kill me. Move that shit over to the side. Gently. Nope. I'm sorry, what? Let's try this again. At least he didn't kill me. Instead, the, the hair just magneted itself back onto his head. Okay, there we go. There's the death. All right. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're going places with this now. All right. Drag that shit all the way off to the side of the screen there. Okay. Now proceed to remove all facial components, starting with his eyes. Starting with the eyes. Oh, all right. 
I just gotta spam click them. Great. Now proceed to carefully remove his nose. Okay. Take the nose off. Great work. Drag the now ears so they fall off. off his, right ear, followed by his, left. his right ear. It probably means his right, not my right. All right, that's one ear. Now for the other. Excellent. This step is crucial, so take your time and precisely work through this. Hold Using on to his jaw and pull it till it opens. Pull down on Frank Bird's jaw to unlock it. Prepare yourself as his face plates will forcefully swing open. Pull on the jaw till it opens. There we go. Good job. You have successfully opened up Frank Bird's face, revealing his facial endoskeleton. Now, please tug on Frank Bird's bow tie in a sharp and fast motion. Any other way may cause serious harm to the suit. Alright, so off the bow tie. Now finally pry open Frank Bird's chest with a constant even force. Whatever you do, do not let go until his chest is open. Letting go or failing to apply a constant pressure may cause a spring lock to fail in prematurely release. Alright. Pull on his chest, don't let go until the suit is open. Do I gotta spam click it? Nope. Okay, no, so you don't gotta spam click it, you just gotta click on it and hold it. Now we gotta do all that over again. That's awesome. I'm not letting go. You gotta apply a constant force. That's what I'm doing, I'm pulling on it. I'm gonna take both of my headphones off just in case I die again for some reason. Don't let go, just keep on pulling. I don't know if I'm supposed to, there we go. Oh, there's a dead body in there, okay. All right, interesting. Is it gonna take us into night four now? Nope. We got a mini game. Okay, this is pretty ominous. What's going on? Is there a huge ass blizzard? Like like a really, really bad snowstorm that's giving out 10 inches of snow? I'm sorry, 10 feet of snow? Let me talk to somebody real quick, see what anybody has to say. Is there even anyone to talk to or did they all go inside? Oh, wait, this is the wrong spot. I gotta go up here. There we go. This is the place. And now it's going to take us into night five, right? Yep, night five. Except we're not playing night five, not in this video. Till next time. All right, so that was part two of the Return to Freddy's 2 Winter Wonderland. We're about to be done with this game in just three episodes, and so far I've been enjoying the hell out of this game. I was just a little bit annoyed by the deaths that I took. I don't know what happened on that first death by Doug. I think the game probably glitched out or some shit, but other than that, this game is definitely a pretty solid Return to Freddy's game. It's a breath of fresh air. Anyways, one more thing before I go. I made my first short last night, okay? Go check it out. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to start doing shorts to give you guys little snippets of upcoming unreleased videos that are in the works, and also promote some other videos that are already on the channel, you know. Give some of those a spotlight too. At least that's what I'll be using shorts for as of right now. Maybe I'll use them for other stuff too. But yeah, go check out the short. Let me know what you guys think. Keep an eye on the short stab as I'll try to stay as active as I can on there. Anyways, with that being said, I know for a fact that I've been rambling for long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.